Our next guest is on a mission to make AI easier to understand and more inclusive. Here with me now is Wei Xia, AI Arena co-founder and COO. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm great. We have had a jam-packed show full of all kinds of robots and AI questions and AI intros. And now we're going to talk about AI and gaming. Yes. So why don't you lay the foundation for us and tell us a little bit about uh, AI Arena and what you do. Absolutely. So AI Arena is a AI gaming company. We are building a uh, radically different game loop. Uh, what we effectively enable is we allow humans to train AI characters. And effectively, it's something like I train my AI character and you train your AI character. And based on our skill sets that we can impart onto the character, we allow them to battle in an arena. And ultimately, we want to see who has the best AI. And in doing so, what we actually create is a medium to educate people uh, about how AI actually works. So it's actually really fascinating. It's both fun and educational at the same time. I want to talk about the educational element in just a moment, but why would I train an AI to have my skills when I could just play a game with my own skills? Absolutely, and I think it's not, it's not like mutually exclusive, right? So it's, it's a very different experience, and what we find in the early days is that people who discover our game actually really like the aspect of learning how to train an AI properly. It's a different expression of skill and creativity. Um, it's unlike anything else that they have ever experienced before, which makes it really novel and exciting to play. Um, but it also, it doesn't mean that you can't enjoy traditional games like Smash Bros and all of those things. It's just that we're bringing a different dimension into the fold. Okay, let's talk about the educational piece. We're training people to train AIs. What is the benefit of that? How does this, how does this look in your head, both inside the gaming and outside of it? Yeah, so I think from inside the gaming world perspective, I think we're bringing a new IP to the fold. Again, a differentiated experience, one that excites people because, you know, AI is very topical and they want to experience what it feels like. I think outside of it, which is really kind of this talent empowerment education angle, um, basically what we've done is we have, we have abstracted the entire kind of AI research and learning process into a game loop. So as you're playing this game, even without knowing it, you are learning about AI, and you're intuiting how AIs actually work, and it's fun and educational, but like we basically Trojan horse the education into it without you realizing it. How many people are using the platform? So, um, so at a high level, if you think about like our Discord, we have about 17,000 people in our Discord. We have um, people from all around the world. We have a very active Asia community, uh, a great African community. Obviously, in the Western English-speaking regions, we have a good presence. Um, and I think on a, on a, a kind of a day-to-day, -day, I would estimate about like a couple thousand people are coming back to our Discord every day, engaging, um, helping us iteratively improve the product as well. And we've really designed this uh, new type of gaming experience with their help and their feedback over time. Are they incentivized to come out because of this educational element where they're you know, learning how to train and interact with AI, or is it because of something else? I know there's a monetiz monetization element in the game. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, certainly the education part of it is something that they ap appreciate after having experienced the game. Um, in terms of how they discover us in the first place, I think is a whole host of reasons, right? Sometimes it's novelty, sometimes it's AI that's really interesting, sometimes it is Web3 and people love discovering new projects that are happening in Web3. I think irrespective of how they onboard into our community, the reason why they stay is the compelling aspect of this gameplay. It's something that they've never experienced before, and it's almost like come for the game, stay for the education, so you get that benefit out of it just by participating. Is this the future of gaming? As you're talking, I'm imagining people training up AIs, like AI armies, to go out there and play games and win digital assets or, or rights. Is this how you envision gaming evolving from where we are today? I think there's definitely going to be a new category of gaming um, that's AI powered and AI enabled um, and it'll, it'll express itself in many different ways. Like we are going about it in a very specific way. Um, AIs have been playing games forever. <laughs> it, it's not th nothing really new from that perspective but I think our game loop is very distinctive and we've uh, developed it from first principle basis in terms of how we want to design this experience. Um, I think it also brings and calls into question um, kind of this fairness concept between, you know, if AIs are able to play games in a way that's almost, um, in some ways, like perfect, because there's no more human limitations in terms of how they can play, uh, how does that call into question the fairness of competition and different types of games that exist out there? 
It's very complex, as with some of the other comments made by other guests. There's a whole host of questions that are still to be answered, and you know, we're, we're doing our own part within this ecosystem, and we're going to try to figure it out methodically going forward. What are some of the most compelling AI use cases? We've spoken about a bunch here. We just spoke about art. We're talking about gaming now. Uh, we're talking about AI really trickling into everyday life. For you, what's the most compelling one we're seeing in action today? It's a very, very hard question to answer. I think even in the way that you uh, presented that question, I think what it shows is that AI is in fact permeating every aspect of our lives, right? And in my opinion, it's an unstoppable force. Um, it is both the greatest opportunity and also biggest challenge that are confronting this generation and moving forward. Um, so I, I really can't pick one. That's okay. I really can't pick one. So self-servingly, I will say AI gaming. I knew AI you were going to say that. Yeah. You can. You can say whatever awesome. you want. There you go. <laughs> okay, so we're at a crypto conference, right? People off. We, we're always talking about the bubble. Now with all the hype around AI, would you say we are in a bubble? And is the, is the hype just that hype? Or where, like, where do we go from here? Or can we expect a burst? Everything goes in cycles. Mm -hmm. I, re I really do believe in that. Um, I think right now we are in a hype cycle for AI. Absolutely. I don't think there's a doubt in my mind. Um, however, um, hype cycles are useful because it attracts new energy. It attracts new attention. Uh, it builds up more human capital into a space that desperately needs that human capital. And that's one of the, um, the, the mission for AI Arena is to bring more people into the fold uh, to empower that talent to learn about AI so they become educated. Uh, and ultimately, we need more people who can interface with this technology to create solutions and solve problems, right? And that's where the opportunity comes in. AI Arena plays a very small role in that. The way that we see it is it's kind of a gateway to get people interested because as they, as they start to play the game, they build that foundational mm -hmm. layer of intuition. It's not going to make them instantaneously an AI-like expert. But um, it's a very, very good starting point for them to explore other things. Wei, thank you so much for joining the show today. That was Wei Xia, AI Arena co-founder and COO.